Here is question 3a part 1. So we, here's our question. We're looking at a supermarket with some self-checkout machines. So that's when the customers scan the item and put in the shopping bag and you do it one item at a time and if there's a if you don't place it in the bag or there's a problem with it then a machine beeps away. So it tells us that if the weight does not match the weight or so the the if the weight of the product on the machine, okay, so the the company um in the supermarket has all the weights of every item stored into the machine and if that doesn't match the weight that's measured then there's a red light that goes off. Otherwise, it just flashes green light. Okay, now sometimes that service machine, that self-checkout machine, doesn't always flash, so it does not always do the right coloured light. Sometimes it's going to make mistakes. So what we're told is that when the item is actually scanned as placed in the bag, it will incorrectly flash a red light 3% of the time. And when the item scanned is not the same as the item, it will correctly flash a red light 98% of the time. So this first question doesn't need us to come up to use those percentages. We'll need that for the next question. But what it does I need is some ideas around how this works. So we're asked to say give one reason why that machine does not have a 100% accurate accuracy rate. Okay. So that's what we want to discuss, and we're just going to go through a few different possible reasons there. So the most obvious answer is that the item um, that is scanned um, is not the item placed in the bag. So another possibility might be to look at each individual item, okay? So does, if I think about every, say, um, loaf of bread, okay? So we know for every loaf of bread, um, the machine has one weight, expected for that item. However, so however, do you think that every loaf of bread weighs exactly the same weight as that that mean that we have. And we know from looking at our means and things at the moment, is we know that when we talk about a mean, there's always a variation of weights around that mean. And so that's going to be one of the issues that it has, is the loaf, one loaf might be 200.3 grams, another loaf might be 201.1 grams. They're both similar, but the machine doesn't recognise that they're um, they are allowed to be a little bit of variation. Okay, so every loaf of bread, the for every loaf of bread, the machine has one weight expected for that item. However, each item varies a little in weight. And the machine... does not take into account the variation in weights. Okay, so there are a couple of reasons why um, we might have a difference, um, why that's not 100% accurate.